Saturday marks two years since the deadly condo building collapse in Surfside. 98 people lost their lives when the Champlain Tower South came down in the middle of the night. Florida 24 reporter Sophia Hernandez speaks to one grieving family about why they say they're still looking for answers about what happened. She was my, she was my baby. Nikki Langesfeld was just 26 years old, an aspiring attorney. She and her husband, Lewis, had lived in Champlain Towers South for just three months before the unthinkable happened. Her father, Pablo, raced to the scene when he heard the news. But there was no building. I was counting the floors to see where Nicole was supposed to be. And half of the floor was gone. We keep calling and calling and... and it was like a horror movie, which did not end yet. It will never end. Two years after her death, he and his son Martin are still grieving. We stand and just think what her life could have been. But the pair still have questions. We don't know what happened. We don't know who's at fault. We don't know who's liable. There were over 41 defendants. No one assumed any responsibility. No accountability. What is this? Each year, they've come up short with answers. But what has changed is this lot is now under construction for a new development. Last year, one bidder, DeMac Properties, promised to build another high rise. The designer saying, quote, while no work of architecture can ever remove the pain of the past, nor should it, a truly ambitious work of architecture can respect such a significant site. It's something families have had to stomach. No respect. They just remove all the banners. They remove the flowers. They remove everything like nothing happened. It's like business as usual. It's disgusting. Even with that sentiment, the Langesfeld men tell me they aren't trying to stop construction, but they are upset that a memorial that has been promised to them and other families still hasn't been built. To me, every day, it's, it's, it's an anniversary. It, 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 it's, it's sad. Uh, it made me, sick to my, made me sick to my stomach that there's no respect. It's not a normal life that we live surrounded by cameras now and microphones trying to just explain how answers will mean so much to us and how a memorial on the side of the collapse will just bring a little bit of respect and a little bit of closure. So I went in search of answers for them. Speaking with Mayor Shlomo Danzinger, who took office just last year, he created a memorial committee comprised of family members whose initial focus was commemorating the first anniversary of the collapse. Last December, he says stakeholders and families started planning out the memorial site, something he admits took time. In government, everything moved slow, um, but it is moving at, at a decent pace. I mean, especially when you consider how long some of these other memorials have taken, some of these other cities after these bigger tragedies. The town has already allocated funding for a memorial, which has now allowed them to create a request for proposal to architects. The mayor is hoping to hear back from some by the end of this month. The memorial has, you know, always been a priority. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of moving pieces. So as much as we want it to be the, the first and top thing, you know, we have a, the, the, the administration here as a city to run. There are other you know, fires that we're trying to put out throughout the day, but there really isn't much to do. You know, the hardest thing sometimes is to sit and wait, but things are moving behind the scenes. The mayor says since they can't build on the site as it is private property, his focus now is seeing how much land can be used on the street adjacent to the site. For families mourning those they love, they are just hoping for a place of remembrance to be built soon and for answers as to why this happened to come quickly. It still feels like a never-ending nightmare where you look behind you and try to find answers as to why your family was in that building, regardless of what the cause of the collapse is. A building fell in the middle of the night in 12 seconds, and there are no answers. And just looking over this, trying to remember when the last time we spoke and, and those memories we had when we were, when we were younger, it's, it's very hard. It never gets easier to see the empty hole behind me. We want answers. We want justice. And hopefully a lesson so this collapse never, ever happen again. In Surfside, Sofia Hernandez, Florida 24 now.